It's Hallie and I'm here at Kennedy's and I'm here for our full moon floral design workshop. This month in February, it's the full snow moon and I'm here to design in Lolly the Unicorn with our beautiful flowers. As many of you know, the snow moon is named as such because February has a ton of snow. We've had a lot of it coming down and we're gonna enjoy those full snowy moon vibes as we design in Lolly today. So for those of you designing at home, you should have received your flowers as well as a piece of oasis. I've soaked mine so it has a little, it, it's absorbed the water and you'll just wanna put yours in for a couple minutes and let it absorb. Then we'll put it into Lolly and take a little knife and level it off. Then take the extra and set it to the side. I'll go over our flowers that we have for this month's design. We have some beautiful freesia, which is a nice spring flower, has a little bit of a peppery smell. And the cool thing is all of these little buds will actually open and blossom typically. So it's a nice long lasting flower. We have a spray rose, a Fuji mum, which will take off this little uh, protective cover and gently kind of open and spread the petals. Again, nice long lasting flower. We have some Israeli Ruscus as our greenery and this in a vase will last months. It's really lovely um, and that nice rich green color. We have some Lysianthus, which although it looks very delicate, it's also very hardy. We have a little bit of baby's breath, which kind of looks like the snow for our full snow moon. And then we have some status, which uh, dries and maintains its color as well as its shape. It has almost a papery sound to it. It's really cool. So we have our beautiful flowers. We have our oasis in Lolly, and we're going to get started. So I always like to start with my greens and I like to cut it and insert it to hide and camouflage the oasis. With this different green, or this green, I'll try and cut it into many different places and try and get many segments out of it. So I kind of like to cut right at the top of the leaf and make my way down. So start at the top and wherever it is, I like to have at least an, an inch or so that I can insert into the foam. Kind of pick it and cut. Cut. And you know, even if it's just one little leaf, it's still something that we can put in there. Another one. Great. I'll make a little collection of these and then we'll insert them into Lally. I don't need such a long stem though, so I'm going to cut that off to the side. And this. So I have my little pile of greens and I'm going to take the different pieces and insert them around. I go in from the edge, kind of in at an angle, and just kind of put them in and hide that oasis. My nice top piece, I'm gonna put in the center. And then it's nice to turn your base around so you can see Lolly from different angles. Again, just kind of keep popping these greens in there. Right in by the shoulder. My last little piece, waste not, want not. There we go. Great. So I'm gonna start out with my biggest flower, which is my Fuji Mum, and it's gonna be my focal. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it towards the front shoulder of Lolly. I'm gonna make it kind of lower. And if you're not sure how, what size to cut your flower, you can always hold it up against your face and kind of gauge it like that. Give yourself a, an estimate. And my advice to you would be, you can always cut more off, but you can't add more on. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna take off these leaves, they don't do too much for me, but you can leave them on. And then I'm just gonna kinda of nestle it in from the side, push it down, and have it right there at that front. It's cute. Okay, my next flowers are going to be the freesia. And I'm gonna have them go off one towards Lolly's hip and one towards Lolly's other shoulder. I'm gonna kinda of have them go like this. So I'm just gonna give it a cut and insert it in. And again, over here, give it a cut, and insert it in. It's cute. 
Nice. So next I'm going to go and um, separate my spray rows. See how there's different breaks? I'm going to use those and put them around in different places. So I'll give it a cut and a cut. And I'm going to leave the last two together and I'm going to put them kind of towards the center. So there we go. You always want to make sure that you get your flowers in at least an inch into the oasis so that it, they'll be secure and they can drink. So I'm just kind of putting these in different places and then moving on to the beautiful Lysianthus. So you can see there's different breaks again with this flower and I'm going to kind of cut it and separate it. I'm going to leave them at different heights, like I'm probably going to put this one a little bit lower and then have these pretty buds be a little bit taller. Um, you, again, can keep or remove the foliage, whatever you like. And I'm going to give these a little cut and then kind of just insert them around. And like I said, turn it and look at your arrangement from different angles so you can get an idea of how it looks um, when you see it from different, different sides. Pretty. I like this purple, pink, and white combination. It's really nice. Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm having, you don't want to put it in and out too many times, but with a small little stem like this, that's okay. So I'm just going to take it and insert it fully. Perfect. Great. One little bud. I'm going to have this come out to the other side. Nice. They're kind of dancing up there. So now I'm going to use my accent filler flowers to kind of uh, focus down closer towards Lolly. So I'm going to use the baby's breath and give her different cuts. And this will kind of help camouflage any of the oasis that you might still see. So you kind of tuck it in and just keep turning your design around. If there's any dry pieces, you can just cut them right off. And this is kind of like that little snow accent. So you just keep moving it around and topping it in where you see fit. Really pretty. And you know, all stems are a little bit different. So you might have more or less breaks than I do, but I'm sure you'll make a beautiful design no matter what. And I kind of just like to spread it out. This one was a nice full one, so I'm gonna just add a little bit more and then call it good. Towards the other. Perfect. More places. And then we have the status. So this is our final touch. And I'll give these just little cuts in different ways. It's kind of a broken piece, so I'm just gonna set it to the side. So I'll keep some taller and some lower and just kind of have fun with it. You might need to use your fingers to find a space to insert it and then just kind of gently push it in. There you go. Tuck it in. Now coming out all around, spread that purple around in your design. Perfect. Lift up and kind of push it in. Use your fingers to just guide the status into the oasis. See where you think it might look good. Nice bit of purple. And again, important to keep turning your design around. And my last piece, I'm going to put it right out the front. Snip off a little bit. Guide it in. Perfect. Cool. So there you have it, Lolly for our full snow moon. So they're a lot of fun to do on your own or with a friend. I hope you enjoyed following along. And if you made one, I hope it turned out beautiful. Feel free to take a picture and share it with us. Happy full snow moon.